Dylan, did you have a nice weekend? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad. How about you, Ryan? Yeah. Oh, good. So glad to hear. And Amy, did you have a nice weekend? Yes. Yes? Oh, good. And how about you, Ray? Did you? Uh, yes, I did. Great, great. Leo, did you have a nice weekend? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay, great. Let's see, has anyone else joined us? Uh, Esther. Oh, hi, Esther. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Glad to hear. And uh, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, right. good. Glad to hear it. All right, did I get everyone? Mm, I think so. All righty. Okay, I'll share my screen today. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so today we are talking about conflict more in storytelling. Um, can everyone see my screen okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, great. So we're gonna continue talking about conflict. We'll review our new words that we saw and the types of conflict, okay? And we will look at some examples of conflict and some new stories. Okay, all right, so first let's review. So I'm actually gonna switch over my screen and we're gonna review the new words that we had the other day. If you weren't here, that's okay. Um, we'll learn them all together. Let me bring my screen back here. Okay, one second. Okay. All right, here we are. Okay, so let's take a look at the word. It'll show up here in a moment. So let's use our memory. So the definition is right here and it says the story is told to you, meaning the story is told in a way that says you went to the store or you had to go get a toothbrush. All right, so let's see, is that perspective? Third person point of view, moral, second person point of view, point of view, or first person point of view. Does anyone remember? Hmm. Ray, do you remember? All uh, right, yes. Okay, uh, what is? Uh, it is second person point of view. All right, let's go for it. Nice job, Ray. Second person point of view. Okay, the next definition. A lesson that the story teaches. Okay, what is the lesson that a story teaches? Barry, do you remember? Moral. Moral. All right, let's check it out. Nice job, Barry. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The stance or position from which the action and events of the story unfolds. So that's how the story is being told. Okay, let's see. Leo, do you remember? Um, persp perspective. All right, let's try it. Ooh, not quite. You want to try it again? Oh, hold on. Let's, we'll go back to that one. Okay, Leo? Okay, let's look at this one for right now. So we know that last one wasn't perspective. So this perspective still might come up. Okay, 
a character's beliefs or attitude about an event, person, or place in the story. Leo, do you want to give this one a try again? Um, um, perspective. Let's try it. Nice job. Yes, this one's perspective. Great job. So that's when someone, a character, thinks something of someone or something in the story, but it can change throughout the story. Their belief or attitude changes. Okay, on to this next one. I am telling the story. The character is in the story. So an example of this is saying, I went to the store. I bought a toothbrush. All right, so we have a few um, of our phrases left. Dylan, do you remember what this might be? First person point of view. All right, let's try it. Nice job, Dylan. Yes, correct. Okay, the story is about he or she. He or she. Amy, do you remember what this might be? Third person points of view. All right, nice job. All right, and that leaves us with this. The stance or position from which the action and events of the story unfold. So that means, is it our first, our second, or our third person point of view? All right. Nice job, everyone. All right. Let me switch over to all of you. All right. Great. Nice job, everyone. So we talked about these new words and phrases. So we talked about moral. So some stories have morals, um, just as we just said, where the story might teach us something. For example, we read Little Red Riding Hood last week, in which we learned maybe be cautious of people you don't know, just like Little Red Riding Hood should be cautious of the wolf. Okay, and other morals teach us, or other stories teach us other things um, that we might take with us and remember while we go through life. Okay, so we also talked about types of conflict, and we ended our last class talking about the many different types of conflict. So this means that every story has conflict, right? That's all the problems that the characters face, and it creates a lot of interesting um, plot points for the reader or the audience to hear. It makes a story more interesting, this conflict, to make sure that our characters, our main characters, may overcome their conflict. But these conflicts come in different forms, right? So let's review these quickly. So quickly, we always have our main character. So this is our man up here. So man versus something else. They are always faced with something else in the story. It might be another person. So they might have a fight with another person. It might be something in nature. So maybe a natural disaster or um, some type of animal, or maybe something else that might be in nature, such as um, plants. Man versus self. So they might have some internal struggles, struggles with their own feelings or emotions. Okay. And then we have a couple more here. Man versus society. So that means that character versus the society that they live in. Maybe that where they live, they believe something or do something that the main character doesn't agree with. And so they're trying to change that. 
Next is man versus machine. So they are versing technology, maybe a robot or something like that. Next is man versus deity. That means a god or something like that, where they're trying to um, fight against something that is already set, determined for them. And then man versus supernatural. So something like a ghost or a monster, something non-human, non-natural that is giving the character some problems. So we have lots of different types of conflict that we might see in stories. OK, so let's look at these and let's think to ourselves. What type of conflict does the woman face in snack attack? So our video snack attack about the old woman at the train station. Hmm. So first, let's say, what was her conflict? Ryan, what was the woman's conflict in snack attack? I don't know. That's okay. Let's get you, let's get some uh, help. Esther, what was the woman's conflict in snack attack? Mm, the woman was uh, to uh, have a sand cookie with the man. Say that one more time, Esther. The woman had the sand cookie with the man. Yes, the woman and the man had the same cookies and she had some frustrations over it because she thought they were only hers, right? So what does she do about this conflict? Sandy, what does she do? Uh, sorry, can you say the question one more time? Yes, of course. How does the woman try to solve the conflict with this man? OK. Uh... Uh, she think the man tried to store her cookie, but actually it's not. So he's also uh, she is very angry. Yeah, to the man. Yes, yes, she yells at him a lot, right? And that's how she tries to solve this. Is she tries to yell at him? Um, great, great job. And so, what type of conflict do you think this is? Hmm, let's think. Let's look at our different types of conflict. And what type of conflict is this? Let's see, Barry, what do you think? Mm. Mm, maybe is man. Do you think it's man versus man? Yes. Yes, I would agree with you, right? So let's look at our definition. The main character fights against another person. And that's what happens, yes? She is fighting with this other man about the cookies. So man versus man or person versus person in our stories. Nice job. So that is our type of conflict and snack attack. OK, so let's take a look at our question of the day. We're doing our question of the day a bit earlier today. So what type of conflict do you find the most interesting? Why? So for example, you might say, I find man versus supernatural the most interesting because it usually involves topics that aren't seen in everyday life. 
So if you like something like ghost stories, you might like man versus supernatural. All right, so that's our question of the day. What type of conflict do you find the most interesting and why? And I'll bring my screen back to look at all of them. Okay, let's see. Sandy, what type of conflict do you find the most interesting and why? Um, okay, I think uh, the members' society is the more interesting because I used to read the Hunger game and I love the parts and setting in it. And the characters need to fight the unjust fate. Yeah, those books are pretty interesting. I'd agree with you, Sandy. So yes, they have a lot of challenges in those stories, don't they? Yeah. Yes, okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Okay, Ryan, what type of conflict do you find the most interesting and why? I think it's man, man but natural because interesting to me. Man versus supernatural. Do you enjoy ghost stories, Ryan? Yes. Very good. All right. Thank you for sharing. Okay, Amy, what type of conflict do you find the most interesting and why? I find society a uh, member society um i i like hunger game too and i think uh i think it is very good movie yes uh do you enjoy seeing how the characters will solve their problems? Yes. Yes. It's very challenging what they have to go through in the Hunger Games, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so too. All right. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Leo, what type of conflict do you find the most interesting? Um, I find Man vs. Supernatural is most interesting for me uh, because I really like the ghost story and when the man um, who has the supernatural thing, I will be very excited for see this. All right, wonderful. Do you enjoy being scared, Leo? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, I see. Very nice. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And did I see Lynn join us? Are you here, Lynn? Yes. Oh, hi, Lynn. Lynn, what type of conflict do you enjoy and why? Mm, I'm interested in man versus self. Mm, because I think, mm, like inside out, uh, the character can find is herself, yes. Very good, yes. And um, do you enjoy seeing them become a better person? Yes. Very good, yeah. It's always nice to see how they can grow, right? Yes. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, Dylan, what type of conflict do you find the most interesting? I find Men vs. Men, because it's men he decided. Say that one more time, Dylan. I find Men vs. Men, because it made me excited. Man versus man. A lot of different things can happen in those stories, right? D 
Dylan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay, Barry, what about you? I think man versus man is most excited because it can have happen very thing. A lot of things. Because a lot of different things can happen. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, yes, I know it can go in many different directions. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Barry. OK, Ray, how about you? Uh, I like. Uh, man versus man, uh, because we can see the intrigue between the characters and they compete with each other for intelligence and force. Everyone may have a whim or suddenly become more powerful. Uh, after all, people have infinite possibilities. Wow, yes, very good. I guess people are all different types, so we can see uh, how those different conflicts come together. And it's always very intriguing to see how they use their strengths against each other and how that lets our story grow. Thanks, Ray. Okay, and Esther, how about you? Uh, I love the man versus deity because uh, I like me story and the story let me excited. Yes, great, wonderful, man versus deity. Those all have a very interesting tone to their stories, yes? <laughs> Do you enjoy reading, uh, have you ever read some mythology, some uh, like ancient Greece or ancient uh, civilization stories about gods? Yes. Yes, and those are quite interesting. All right, wonderful. Did I get to ask everyone? Did everyone get a turn? I think so. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so V S uh, means versus. Yeah, and <laughs> sometimes uh, maybe you pronounce it very quick, very fast, so it became verse. So <laughs> students may pronounce verse. V E R S E instead of verses or versus. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Versus. <laughs> yeah. Let's all try that together. Versus. 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 Yes. My apologies. <laughs> yes. There's verse and versus. So man versus one of our types of conflicts. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> apologies. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? Nope. All right. And Luke, did that help? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank great. you. Yes. So versus. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. All right. Let's move on. We'll play a game. Okay. So in a moment, I will bring my screen over to our word wall. Um, website that we love so much. And what we will do is we are going to do a, something with drawing. All right, so can everyone get a piece of paper and uh, something to draw with, please? And what we will do is we will spin a wheel and it will stop on a type of conflict. So one of the ones we were just talking about. So when it stops, we can all um, draw a picture very quickly on what that would look like, and then we will share it. And we'll do this a few times. Here's a few examples. So again, not, not anything too complicated. So here's man versus man. So you see they are physically fighting, but they also could be 
talking like the women in Snack Attack. They didn't physically fight or use any weapons. They were just using their words. Man versus nature. So you see this person is running away from our tornado. Man versus himself. So you can see how this guy is struggling a bit. There's a few question marks above his head. And man versus society. So it's one man against many people. All right. So we'll have a quick drawing on what that means to us. OK. Does anyone have any questions? All right. Does everyone have something to draw with? All right. Let me bring my screen over. To our wheel. Whoops. OK. Wonderful. OK, <laughs> here we go. All right, so. Let's spin it. OK, first up is man versus deity. So everyone, we will take one minute. I'm going to start my timer right here and just do a quick drawing of what that might look like, okay? All right, go ahead. Just one quick drawing. And again, this is man versus deity. So man versus um, a larger force, like a god or a goddess or some other predetermined fate that they are working against. Hmm. And what we'll do is we'll do draw a few at first and then I will bring my screen back and then we will share, okay? All right, another few seconds. All right, everyone, stop. Okay, we're going to spin the wheel again. Here we go. Okay, man versus nature. All right, so I'm going to start my timer again for one minute. On a separate place to draw, draw your, uh, draw what you'd like for man versus nature and again versus nature and we will share it in a moment. And this can be all sorts of things. It can be weather related or animal or even plants. Anything in the natural world that might cause an issue for a character. Okay, a few more seconds. All right. All right, we'll do uh, one or two more. All right, let's see our next one. I'm actually going to eliminate this one. We'll spin it again since we already spun it. <laughs> I missed the button before. All right, let's try it again. Okay, man versus man. That's our third jarring. Okay, so let's take a minute. And like we said, this can look in many, look like it's many different types of conflict, man versus man. Since there are many different types of people, they all might 
solve their conflicts with each other in different ways. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring back my screen so we can all share. Okay. All right, so we have three different drawings that we've made. Man versus deity, man versus nature, and man versus man. I'd like you all to choose one of your drawings to share with us and you can explain what you drew and which of these types of conflict it was, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Ray, can you go first, please? I'm, I'm afraid not. Oh, okay, that's totally fine. Can we come back to you? Do you need a little more time? Y yes, I yes. do. All right, we will come back to you, no problem. Okay, let's see. Leo, are you ready? No? All right. Why doesn't everyone take another moment or two and finish up their drawings, <laughs> okay? And then we will start sharing, okay? Let's take another minute, no problem. In the meantime, I'm wondering, Luke, what's your favorite type of conflict? Uh, man versus self, because I like to see the protagonist grow. It's, uh, it's very inspiring sometimes. Lovely. Yes, I'd agree. You can always learn a lot from those stories, I feel. OK. Everyone start to finish up. Is anyone ready? You can raise your hand. Masterpieces. <laughs> oh, let's see. Someone's done. Barry. Barry is ready. Barry. Okay, Barry. Let's see. What did you choose? I to cancel your background. Uh, uh, I choose Mammoth Nature. Oh, wonderful. Will you describe your drawing, please? Uh, Mm, it's a man and the sun, the wind and rain. Oh, yes, I see. All right, wonderful. Nice job. Nice job, Barry. Thank you so much for sharing. OK, Amy, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's see. What did you choose? I chose member shirt. Verse, men. Try it with me. Verses. Verses, men. All right, wonderful. Let's see it. How, um, yeah. Show us off your drawing. Can, can you? Uh, I take a picture. <laughs> Okay, great. Okay. Wonderful. Send it to the chat box. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, great. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that's. Ah, I see. 
All right, will you describe um, what you drew, please? Uh, a man very angry and he yelled to another people, another person, and the pers and another person felt angry too. Oh, nice job. Yes. So they're using their words to fight in their conflict. Nice job. Thank you, Amy. Okay, let's see. Who else is ready? Esther, are you ready? No. No? All right. Take another moment. Uh, Ryan, let's see what you have. I'm not ready. All righty. Okay, let's see. Who is ready? You can raise your hand. Everyone else is still working? Okay, put your final touches. And we will just show what we've... Oh, okay, Lynn, go ahead. Mm, I chose man versus nature. And I draw a man uh, versus uh, earth with uh, forest and some weather and animal. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of natural things happening. Would you yeah. like to show us? Uh, okay. Okay. Wait. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little blurry. <laughs> Maybe I later can take a photo. Take okay. A photo. Sure. Yes, and you can also send it to the chat. All right, great. Okay. Thank you, Lynn. Okay. Sandy, are you ready? Okay. Um, this. All right. Nice job. I think I see man versus nature, yes? Yeah, yes. All right, will you describe what you drew? Okay, um, the, the man and his family is in the forest and and the forest fire, so they need to, uh, they try to be safe. Oh, wow. Yes, fires can be very dangerous, so. Yes, that sounds like a very big conflict. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Let's see, Ray, are you ready? Uh, yes, I do. All right, let's see it. Uh, oh yes, I see. Uh, you see it clearly? I can see it clearly. Okay. Uh, I choose man versus deity. Wonderful, yes. And will you describe your drawing to us? Uh, one guy debates with God. So, uh, so the deity want to penalize this guy and, uh, uh, and this guy use his own weapon and the and the deity uh, throw the thunder to him. Oh wow. Very nice. Yes, it's very clear. You can see the deity versus the man too, with, and especially the lightning bolt helps show how the conflict is playing out. Nice job. Do you use penalize or punish? Uh, which word is better in this context? They both work well um, in this context, I would say. Um, I feel like using the word punish is more common. However, saying penalize also works well in this context, I would say. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. We'll take um, 
one more, one or two more. So raise your hand if you are finished. Okay, Leo, go ahead. Um, I saw a man versus man and the picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, the picture is um, the left man uh, as the as the right man out and he told him to return the money to him but the right man uh, don't take the money here so the left man is so angry so he uh, he has the knife and hurt him oh wow you have a, a story that you came up with if you're drawing. Wow, Leo, I'm impressed <laughs> of the whole story. <laughs> nice job, yes. And unfortunately, the violence is a way that some conflict plays out between characters. All right. Nice job, Leo. Thank you. And Esther, I saw you raise your hand as well. So go ahead. Wonderful. Would you like to show us? Oh, yes, I see. Nice job. Would you describe your drawing to us? Uh, the man. Uh, he fight with the god. Thank you so much, Esther. Nice job on your drawing. All right, great. And Dylan or Ryan, are you ready? And would you like to share? Dylan, do you have a drawing for us or not yet? Yes. All right, great. Go ahead. I choose men first men. All right. Can you want to share it with us? Oh, wow. All right. Will you describe your drawing to us, please? One day, the men and men fight. They fight. Oh, yes. wow. Thank you so much, Dylan, for sharing. OK, and Ryan, are, are you ready to share? Yes. OK, go ahead. I choose men versus nature. OK, and can you show us your drawing, please? Oh, wow. And will you talk about your drawing? Oh, one day a man goes to a forest, but it's ran, so he run away his home. Say that one more time, Ryan. One day a man goes to a forest, but it's ran, so he run away his house. I see. OK, so he came across a bad storm. It was raining and he ran back home. Nice job. I'm very impressed how all of you also came up with some story or some piece of the plot along with your drawings. That is very impressive, especially since we had so little time to draw uh, in this activity. So nice job, everyone. I think everyone got a chance to go. Yes. Great. Great job, everyone. I'm very impressed. It just shows how natural storytelling can be for us, right? So we can think of these conflicts or maybe these characters or things that happen to these characters. Um, it can become very easily sometimes. You just I need a little spark of inspiration. <laughs> all right, nice job, everyone. Very impressive. So we have all these different types of conflict, and we all have heard of or know of stories that show 
all of these different types of conflict. And we even may have created some of our own like we just did. Again, nice job. OK, so as we go forward talking more about conflict and storytelling, we can keep all of these in mind and ask ourselves, hmm, what type of conflict do the characters face in this story? OK, and we can note what types of things or people that the character goes against to determine what type of conflict it is or to figure out what type of conflict it is. Nice job. All right, so let's take a look at the next section here. So we'll start talking about this now, but we will talk more about it when we meet again later this week. OK, so our next part of our session here is to sort of talk a bit more about conflict and perspective. So as you might remember, the perspective in the story is um, when a character's attitude or beliefs change throughout the story. OK, so something that we see in the story will change a little bit. Here we're going to talk about both our perspective, our morals, and point of view, and type of conflict. So all the new things we're just learning about with these two stories. So one is a classic tale of the three little pigs. So the three little pigs, and we'll again review this next class as well, is a story, a fairy tale of these three uh, siblings, these three pigs who are siblings, and each of them go build a house. One builds a house out of straw, one of them builds his house out of sticks, and one of them builds his house out of bricks. And one day, a wolf, comes and visits each of the pigs and they face some conflict with that wolf. We'll talk more about this again next class as we're winding down. But this classic tale, which we hear these three little pigs and how they have conflict with this wolf, we all know how it ends and we all know our main characters that we're rooting for, which is the three little pigs. We want them to be OK. However, there's another version of the three little pigs, which is told from the point of view of the wolf. So we can see how perspectives might change or how the whole story might be different based on who tells the story. OK, so we'll talk about that more next class. All right. So in the meantime, I'm going to bring my screen back to you all. <laughs> all right. Wonderful. All right. Thank you all so much for coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it would be very interesting to see the same story told from a different perspective. And that's uh, when people can start learning critical thinking because you have to decide who told the story. It's, it will be very different uh, if it's told by a different person. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's the villain in the original story, the bad guy. <laughs> so we hear from the wolf who has his own version good, good. of things. So we'll we see how. Uh... Yeah, we are looking forward to it. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I'm looking forward to it too. Could you unmute your microphone? Excuse me. Say thank you, teacher Bridget. Thank, thank you. you, teacher Bridget. All right. Thank you all. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Have a good rest.